the International Tunneling and Underground Space Association is committed to the sharing and advancement of knowledge, as well as publicizing the industry's achievements to the wider public. This selection of recent and ongoing projects worldwide are all crucial in enhancing connectivity, infrastructure, modernization for future living, as well as meeting power, water and sanitation needs within cities, between cities and from country to country. The Moglis Hydro Power Plant is under construction on the River Davol in Albania. The associated dam will be one of the world's largest of its kind. The Vama Hydro Power Station in Norway takes in water from an area the size of Switzerland. A tunnel with a cross-section of 230 square meters has been excavated by drill and blast to convey 1,500 cubic meters of water per second through the 12 turbines of the underground power station. In the state of Pahang, Malaysia, the Yulu Jelai Hydro Power Project involves the construction of an underground power station to house two turbines and excavation of 26 kilometers of water delivery tunnels. Work on the 24.3 km long Jilin Lot 3 tunnel has set a new record for 8 meter diameter TBM tunnel excavation in China. Lake Suvan in Armenia is the main resource of drinking water in the region. The Arpa Suvan tunnel is a major construction project to recover the lake's water level. In India, the water supply network of Mumbai is one of the largest in the world. A new tunnel under construction will be the longest and deepest water tunnel in India and will help bridge the gap in water demand and supply in Mumbai. The Ria Chuelo Environmental Restoration System is part of the largest public works project in Argentina and designed to clean up the Matanza River, one of the most polluted rivers in the world. In Ohio, in the United States of America, the Dugway Storage Tunnel is part of a broader plan to help reduce the flow of raw sewage into Lake Erie. Rather than replace the existing sewer system, a network of deep tunnels has been constructed to hold water until it can process through the treatment plant. The Waterway Protection Tunnel in Louisville is part of a project to reduce sewer overflows into local waterways by 98% by 2024. When complete, the land will be developed with green space for the community to enjoy. In the UK, the Thameslink Canal Tunnels will improve north-south rail connections for London, providing for up to eight of the possible 24 services an hour through the city. The connection incorporates a 600-metre-long twin-board tunnel carrying the line beneath the Regent's Canal. In Piraeus, Athens, three new metro stations have been constructed on Line 3, a major project that will benefit the entire Attica Basin. Construction is underway for new metro transit routes in Los Angeles. The Purple Line extension will extend westward for about nine miles, adding seven new stations. The second metro line construction project in Rennes is currently the largest civil engineering project for a regional authority in France. It will connect the southwest and northeast parts of the city. The first extension of the MRT Blue Line in Bangkok cuts down travel time for thousands of passengers, part of a developing 30-kilometer underground train line with 22 stations and six interchange stations. In Singapore, a new entrance structure and a pedestrian underpass will connect to the Bukit Panyang MRT. Canada's Edmonton line progresses through downtown, with little evidence of the massive undertaking visible from the surface. It will link regional and local transit and cut travel time along the route by half. The historic central Chinese city of Wuhan is attracting investment in its goal to become a future megacity. The first phase of Line 8 runs from north to south of Wuhan, with a tunnel constructed beneath the famous Yangtze River.
In Greece, the Tempe tunnels will not only reduce journey time and distance between Athens and Thessaloniki, but also improve safety in an area beset with many fatal road accidents. The three tunnels include the 6km Tempe Tunnel, the longest highway tunnel in the Balkans. The Panagopoula Tunnel will be used by vehicles travelling from Athens to Petraeus and is part of a 12-tunnel project to enable faster journeys on the Olympian Odos motorway. The A1 Autostrada in Italy connects Naples in the south to Milan in the north via Rome and Florence. Within this section is the Santa Lucia Tunnel, running through the Apennine mountain range. North Connex is a motorway dual tunnel. It will connect the Sydney Orbital Network and its north-south motorway links to the National Highway. Most of the West Connex extension will be in underground motorway tunnels and help improve connections to Sydney Airport. La Linea is a highway tunnel currently under construction in Colombia. It will cross beneath part of the Cordillera Central Range of the Andes Mountains and ease traffic on one of Colombia's main east-west road connections. In Brazil, four tunnels, in addition to 39 viaducts and bridges, make up the work of the Regis Bittencourt Highway. The project will reduce accidents, speed up travel and has been constructed directly under the existing highway. The Injay Tunnel is South Korea's longest highway tunnel and the 11th longest road tunnel in the world. 35 tunnels and 58 viaducts account for 73% of the highway. The vast bridge tunnel system of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Highway Link consists of three bridges, two artificial transition islands, and an immersed tube under the shipping channels of the Pearl River estuary. The Twin Tube Lung Shang Tunnel is the seventh land-based crossing between Hong Kong and Shenzhen and the longest Twin Tube Road Tunnel in Hong Kong. Many design proposals for the terminal building on the project were put forward with the goal of enhancing the usability for both Hong Kong and the Shenzhen citizens. Instead of spending up to five days in queues waiting for the ferry crossing, the highway tunnels under the Suez Canal will now cut the journey time down to only 10 minutes with completion of the first two new twin-tube road tunnels under the busy international waterway. The Niayesh Tunnel project is the largest ongoing civil engineering project in Iran and the longest urban tunnel in the Middle East. When the project is finished, congestion and journey times will be drastically reduced. In the United Arab Emirates, the Khor Fakan to Sharjah Tunnel is now the longest covered tunnel in the Middle East. In the Seychelles, two new road tunnels have been approved in the country's most populated city of Mayhi to help ease major traffic congestion in the city. In Germany, the major infrastructure project known as Stuttgart 21 will replace a 17-track station with an 8-track underground through station. It has several complex urban excavations, the largest of which is the Filder Tunnel. A new replacement tunnel in Ukraine will take 60% of all rail traffic between Ukraine and the European Union. In Russia, the parallel tube for the Baikal Tunnel on the BAM Trans-Siberian Railway will more than double freight and passenger traffic capacity. The billion-dollar rebuild on the coast of Kaikoura in New Zealand has seen a rapid repair of major earthquake hit sections, allowing for quicker and increased cargo along the route. The Chengdu Lanzhou Rail Route is the first line through the Guling Mountains, lying between North and South China. The new high-speed line features some of China's largest tunnels. The Laos China Railway will have as many as 75 tunnels built along the rail line linking Vientian with the Chinese border. The 4.5 km Ungong Tunnel in Kenya is the longest railway tunnel in East Africa, linking Nairobi to Naivasha Town. Underground space development is advancing with innovative designs, incorporating areas for leisure, work and farming, allowing for illuminating underground city expansion. 
The world of tomorrow is here today as the tunneling and underground space industry continues to build inspiring projects for our future. The aim has never been higher in the wonderful world below.